Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. Today we got the Q&A for the Ballista, the newest line vehicle which is on concept right now. I have a video linked up in case you missed it. Here's what you need to know in 1 minute and 30 seconds. Let's begin. Any target with a highly detectable signature can be locked and engaged within line of sight. This means for now, no shooting behind hills or cover. However, they are planning to offer painting mechanics allowing one to mark and the other to fire. This could extend the effective range and snap shoot over the horizon or obstacles. There's no future plans for modularity for the Ballista. For now, the only way to replenish the missiles is to return to the pad that it was spawned upon. However, in the future, expect to see ships like the Vulcan performing this operation in the field. The range of 2000 meters was misquoted in Jump Point. It's actually based on the detectable emissions from the target and can be as far as up to 10 kilometers away. The Iteris and the Hercules are currently the only two ships designed to carry the Ballista. The 890 jump technically is large enough, but it lacks the proper means to secure it internally. They confirmed that the small turret and the weapons platform in the rear are the only planned variations. The only way to get the exclusive skins would be to buy the Warbond versions during the concept sale. There's no plans to let the rear gunner operate the front turret and vice versa. You can't dump fire a missile without a lock, which confirmed the next point, that if you can lock it, you can shoot it. So technically, you could hit an incoming torpedo and a bomb with a ballista if its signature was high enough. And if you put a ballista on top of a Kraken, yes, it would technically function as an extra weapons platform. There you go, fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.